we spent a lot of time talking about automation. And that might sound a little strange because you're in a project which is very high level, right? We do process management ISO standards. The reason we covered automation is because our greatest concern isn't the existing process standards. Our greatest concern is making sure the market adopts and applies these to fix the supply chain. Uh, and the biggest feedback we've had in the last year has been automation is critical and it's hard to get, particularly open source automation for open source tooling. When something like Foslight came along and we had something to show you about how things can get a lot simpler, a lot quicker, uh, we felt it was very important to put that in front of you. And you should be aware, if you don't know already, that OpenChain has an extremely active automation group. It meets every two weeks, I think. And this automation work group is focused on mapping out the capabilities of tools like this, finding market gaps, and then seeking ways to close those market gaps. The end goal is that a company looking at something like OpenChain would then ask the question of what SBOM do I use and quickly locate something like SPDX and then ask the question of how do I automate it and quickly locate a tool that they can download, install, and use uh, even if they don't have technical capability. Our very best case study came approximately two years ago when one of our Chinese board member companies purposefully prevented their OSPO accessing the technical team and asked the OSPO to set up um, at the time, Fossology and SW360. They budgeted three hours, and they took a week, and then gave up and bought Black Duck. Now, the reason that they did that test was actually to see what would be happening in their supply chain for teams with limited technical capability that start thinking, how do we get started? How do we begin to do automation once we understand that we're going to have a process, we're going to have an SBOM, how do we make sure that can scale? And their discovery was that there's a market gap on implementation, and we're still filling that. Stuff like Foslight are promising examples of how we can fill it, and that's why we're talking about it. This project, OpenChain, is concerned with the practical market reality. Now, I'm not sure where the, oh, you have a HDMI thingy. Okay, uh, we're about to, and I'm smiling because my computer put up a warning. It's like, you've connected an unknown accessory. Do you want to give it access to your computer? I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> I clicked yes. <laughs> okay. So going right back to the start here. Um, <laughs> it's okay. We, 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 we'll, we, we, will, we will not do that again. I'll, I'll just show this picture again because I liked it. Hmm. I like that one. Don't tell legal, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, the Open Chain project, what I wanted to touch on was going right back here. So we've built the ISO standard for open source license compliance. We've built the standard for security assurance. It'll be an ISO standard in around a month and a half. We're crossing all types of industry verticals as we get people using the standards. This is a tremendous change from where we were when we started 2015 or so. Mark, I think you're later to the room, so you haven't seen all of this. This slide is just showing a snapshot of some of the companies that have announced conformance via our website. And it's just a snapshot of some of the largest. Uh, the actual setup of the companies that announced on our website looks more like this. Uh, and that's only a tiny subset because we know from PwC's analysis that, for example, 20% of companies in Germany with more than 2,000 employees are using the ISO standard for open source compliance. Uh, but this verticals thing was just me messing around, cherry picking just a handful of the companies on our website who've announced conformance, putting them up there. And another thing I flagged was, here are other companies that haven't announced conformance but are actually active in our community. Like, for instance, Lockheed, which is co-chairing future spec development via Chris Wood. So lots of movement, lots of activity, and all of it based around the fact that we have uh, some very practical, simple ISO standards for getting things done. Uh, the primary one that we're interested in, in terms of 
existing market traction is our license compliance standard and then the primary one we're interested in in solving the hot new problem is our security assurance standard. As I told you, these uh, standards are both in a pretty good stage. They're both um, coming to market in ways that I think are beneficial. Uh, you know, the security assurance standard will be out as an ISO number very shortly. We can already tell you what that number will be if the vote is successful. It'll be 18974. We're already seeing companies like LG announcing use of it. The license compliance standard obviously is everywhere. Uh, and we're just seeing a continual run of companies in multiple different sectors announcing usage. We do hope that you will go and tell people that not only are the standards important, but this community exists. Because beyond the fact that we've built the standards and there's lots of adoption and big companies like LG will talk about what they're doing and they'll release tools that help people use these standards despite that, in the supply chain, the most common question we get from companies is, um, how do open source licenses work? <laughs> what are they? Isn't this dangerous? So we're still at the stage where most of the supply chain's level is pretty much zero. Okay, so one of the big jobs of the Open Chain project is to provide a way to capture people and to guide them towards the information they need. Obviously, we want them using our standards, but to get to th them to that stage, uh, we have meetings all over the world in multiple languages. We've got global work groups and we've got an enormous reference library of over a thousand documents to do everything from explain what is open source to give people adoption Kanban workflows. And what I hope is that you will go and tell people about this. If you're new and curious and confused about all the stuff we talked about today, come to our website, learn about it, join our calls, Everything is designed to try to get the help and support from the most knowledgeable people or from the biggest companies out to everyone else as quickly as possible. No limits, no catches, no nothing. Uh, for us, it's simple. The better the supply chain works, uh, the more all of us can focus on getting great solutions to market. Final note as we end, community, of course, is number one. And there's Soam again. Hi, Soam. Uh, at, at the same time as having a great fun community, um, we're also truly a community org, and we're aware of one thing that, what's this? What's this hacking my computer now? Oh, my computer's got a security response. Sorry, so I'll fix it. Okay, so uh, we're very much an open source project. I mentioned we edited our standards on GitHub, we do our calls, but more than that, we're aware of something which I think is vital to keep reiterating. To solve compliance and security in the end for the supply chain, we have to solve final upstream. Okay, so what we're doing, a lot of it is the corporate lifting that has been incredibly hard to build traction on. But at the same time as that, we're not losing sight of the pure community side of things and helping projects fostering that type of engagement and interaction. One thing that you probably didn't see on the slides uh, to end is that on this massive list of um, companies and organizations, somewhere down here is Eclipse Foundation. Eclipse Foundation is open chain ISO 5230 conformant, all of it. Every project in Eclipse is following our processes for our standards, software bill of materials, compliance, they're doing that. And, you know, this is kind of our vision that the whole supply chain from beginning to end will have better process management, save time, save money, reduce risk, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So please be part of that. Thank you for your time today and your patience. I do apologize that we haven't had enough time for free discussion, but if you have any ending questions, you're most welcome to pose them now. Everyone's like, no, we want to get out. Just let us go. <laughs> okay, fine, go. Thank you, everyone, and have a beautiful day.